Hi everyone, my name is Alexandra and I'm the founder of Olixa Beauty, which is one of the beauty brands available at Bloma Beauty. Um, and today I'm going to go through a very like short evening gua sha routine um, for you to follow along with if you'd like to do that um, using our gua sha tool. So if you've not seen um, a gua sha before, it's basically um, a gua sha tool. It's basically a tool that helps with like gua sha facial massage. Um, and what gua sha is, it's a uh, like a traditional Chinese medicine technique that helps to sort of like move energy around the body. So a tool is used to sort of like scrape across the skin to help with um, like stimulating circulation and helping move like the lymph around the system to help sort of like with lymphatic drainage, um, which in turn helps with like reducing puffiness of the skin. Um, it helps to the skin um, sort of to feel a bit tighter and more toned and also due to like the stimulation of circulation helps your skin like feel brighter and healthier as well. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice thing to do in the evenings, especially before bed, because it's a really nice like wind down routine. Um, so this is our gua sha tool. It comes in a little gift box as well. Um, inside it, there's a little leaflet, which gives you a, a quick like crash course um, of sort of like what to do and how to use it. Um, if you don't have time to come back and refer to the video. Um, but this is the tool itself. So it's made from rose quartz stone. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of different sides. It's quite flat um, in shape, but it all the different sides sort of like serve a different purpose when you're using it on the skin, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but first of all, just a few like, like rules of thumb. Um, the first thing is that you should always like clean your tool before you use it. And especially if you've just bought it from the store, like just give it a good cleanse in just a mild soap um, and then dry it off in the bathroom. Um, just be very careful not to drop it because it gets very slippery and if it um, falls from height onto tiles, it will get damaged <laughs> because it's made from stone. So just be very careful with it when you're handling it. So generally you would um, also always use an oil or a serum on your skin before using it because you want the tool to sort of like slide and glide across the skin rather than dragging the skin um, while you're using it. Um, something else to remember is to always sort of like pull across the skin with like a pulling action rather than like pushing in that way. So it's always like a pulling across the skin. And you always tend to use like very like blunt angle when you're using the tools. So rather than like sort of doing it at a perpendicular angle like that, it's quite a flat angle. So you've got maybe like a thumb width between like the tool and your face as you pull it along. Um, and yeah, it's just generally like the main things to remember. So we can get started. So to start with, I'm going to use um, the Explorer All Over Oil, um, which is one of the oils that we have um, in our range, which is also available at Bloma. So this is a really nice lightweight um, oil. Most skin types will get along with it. Um, it sinks into the skin quite nicely. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin either. So really nice one to use um, with a facial massage. So I'm just sort of like put that all over. I'm gonna tie my hair back a little bit. Um, so once that oil's on over your face and also just sort of down your neck, um, obviously you'd also like cleanse your skin before doing one of these routines. So you'd like, usually in the evening, you'd cleanse, you'd like apply your oil and you'll be getting ready for bed. So it's like a nice like, time to start to do it. So to start with, um, you sort of take the tool with this like long side here and sort of like start to like pull kind of up the neck and that will just help bring some fresh blood to like the face area. So you kind of do that. And maybe like each movement might be like three to five times, sort of whatever feels good for you. So you sort of bring that up like that. And then you can start to use um, whichever angle really feels good for your skin. Everybody's face is different. Everything's, everyone's going to find something that feels a bit better than other sides for them. So, for example, we can use like this little ridge bit here. Oh, no, sorry. We're going to use this bit here to sort of like hold the skin and sort of pull under the jaw. And then you can incorporate a bit of like a, like a jiggle at the end, which will help to stimulate um, the lymph system as well. Then you can use like this side to kind of pull across the jaw. Again, using that really like nice gentle angle. And you also don't want to pull like push too hard on the skin. You don't want to break any capillaries um, or anything like that. So it's just really like a gentle motion. And again, sort of like pull it up. So the idea is you're kind of working like from the bottom to the top and from the inside to the outside generally. So if you kind of follow that sort of rule of thumb, then you can't go very far wrong. 
so yeah, so you can start to put like you know, do like little small stages of the face, like across. And then if you as you like sort of like pull down the neck, that will just help to drain out any like stagnant um, fluid and lymph once you sort of like pull it across to like where the ear is and then down the neck there. So you sort of like finish it off like pulling it down and across. You can keep doing that. So you just keep doing that as much as it feels good. You can also go sort of like across the forehead and then also like down the neck and then you can pull it sort of like up the forehead as well and then across and down and then some of the other sides you can use this sort of round side if you get sort of puffiness under your eyes you can sort of use a bit of a pumping action sort of under your eye like that which feels quite nice and it helps like in the morning if you wake up you might have like less puffiness under there as well and down um, and then we've got this like jagged edge as well so you can use this in a few ways so you can either sort of like Use it maybe even like across the brows to help sort of release any tension if you want to. It can be used through the hairline, which also feels quite nice to like comb through the hairline. If you get like headaches or you get a lot of stress, so you've been looking at a computer screen a lot, it feels quite nice to do that kind of action before bed. And then you can also use this at a perpendicular angle to the skin. So if you get like forehead lines, you can hold. So another thing that you can do with this um, bumpy edge is that you can use it perpendicularly to the skin. So if you sort of have lines going over this way, you can sort of hold the skin and sort of make little sort of rubbing actions across the direction of um, any lines. And what that does is help to stimulate circulation in the area and encourage like more blood flow to the region. It also helps to like stimulate the production of collagen. So it just helps to like sort of like smooth out um, any fine lines in your skin and helps to release tension as well so if, especially if you get like if you frown a lot like i do you can sort of like hold your skin there and sort of like rub across there and then always remembering to sort of like drag with a smooth edge and then down the neck to help with lymphatic drainage um so once you've sort of done one side of your face you can then continue on um with the other side you can swap hands if you want to if it makes it easier for you so the same kind of technique across Sort of like pull down the neck um you can sort of like use a flat side across as well and then down you can do the under eye again across and down across the forehead yeah so it's really you can just really um sort of play around with it you can take like five ten minutes in the evening just to sort of um do what feels good to you and after you do it a few times you start to get the hang of it and it becomes quite intuitive sort of what feels nice um, on your skin but just generally as long as you kind of follow the principles of sort of dragging across the skin from like the inside to the outside you generally work from the bottom to the top then swap sides bottom to top down the neck to help with lymphatic drainage you can't go um you can't really go wrong with it so yeah just as long as you do like gentle pressure like smooth, slow movements, um, you'll start to feel like your skin's sort of feeling like firmer and a bit more like less puffy as well. So in the morning, after you do it in the evening, in the morning, you should wake up feeling nice and fresh um, as well. So it's a really nice one to do just before bed to just help relax you um, and get ready for sleep. But yeah, so that's the Gua Sha tool. I use the Gua Sha tool and the um, oil for the routine. Um, They've got both products in Blower Beauty as well. So if you go into store, you can obviously like check it out in real life or you can um, also get it online from their website as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what, um, how you use your tool as well and if you enjoy using it as part of your um, skincare regime also. I'd love to hear about it. Okay, if you've got any questions, you can um, obviously ask Blower or you'll ask me directly because um, I'd love to answer any if you've got them. So thank you. I hope you enjoy the Gua Sha tool.